Hello, my name is Charlotte Lambert Gorwin, and I'm here to talk to you about the A level photography course at Hastings College, you know, the East Sussex College group. Um, just to let you know before we go into everything, you will be able to have a look over this presentation again on our YouTube channel. Um, also, all of the photographs in the presentation are by our former students. Um, so you will also get a quite a nice chance to see some of their work and hopefully give you some ideas. Okay, so about us, um, there's three key members of the team. Um, there's Emma Pardy, who teaches fine art and graphics. There's me, I teach the photography and graphics. And then we have Lydia Moon, who is our technician. Um, we all work very closely together. Um, A-level photography, so during the two-year course, you will get a broad understanding of photography. You will develop numerous practical and academic skills, refining your ability to develop your ideas and experiment with a wide variety of materials while mastering a range of new techniques and processes. You will also develop an understanding of how artists use and manipulate media to realise visual intentions and communicated ideas. Additionally, you will research, analyse and recognise the context in which artworks have been created. Um, so to study um, any of the arts, you do need a grade five and at least one of the art subjects. Um, for photography, it doesn't actually matter which, if you've got an art qualification in fine art or graphics, that's also fine. Um, to do fine art or graphics, you do need a five in fine art because you do need your drawing skills a bit more. Um, so it's a two-year course. The first year is kind of the foundation year. We will get you used to the course and what's expected. So we'll do a lot of practical workshops. You'll get smaller projects which you'll receive feedback on. So it's really about understanding in that first term or first year what's expected of the course and to introduce you to a range of materials and techniques. Um, the second year is actually where you start getting formally assessed. And that consists of two major projects. You've got your component one, which is a personal project. You actually choose that completely for yourselves. So it's a real exciting opportunity to have a look at something that you personally are interested in. Um, you do need to do an essay for that as well, which is comparing and contrasting the work of different artists. Um, the second part of that year is the component two, which is the exam set by the exam board. This is a paper which gives you about 12 different questions, 12 or 15. You choose one of those, you follow it as a project in the same way that you've been practicing all along, and then you will do an exam, uh, which is a timed assessment where you produce your final piece. Um, so we've just got a little bit of information about all of that there. Um, so the exam is a 15 hour period of systems work. And as I said before, you do produce your final piece in there. I'll let you read through this in more detail at a different point. Um, practical workshops we do out on the course. We really do like to embrace old technology as well as new technology. So not just kind of focusing on the digital and Photoshop, but also looking at darkroom techniques like photograms, um, pinhole photography using a 35mm camera, so developing your own film and printing from negative, also quite old-fashioned um, um, workshops like cyanotypes and liquid emulsion, looking at different types of cameras like medium format and large format, looking at toning. Um, because we're part of the art department and we're quite cross-disciplinary as well, we do look at things that are actually traditionally from other areas, so the photo etching, we would also look at moving image as well, um, using colour gels in the studio, studio lighting generally. Um, and also things that are a bit less obvious, like scanography, so manipulating images using a scanner and other devices. I'm also incredibly open as well. I think if somebody came to me with something they would like to do, we would try our best to try and make sure that we could do that. Okay, so for those of you that are already studying art, which I hope all of you are in some way or another, you'll be familiar with these different methods of assessment. We've got contextual understanding, creative making, reflective recording, and personal presentation. I'm not going to go into too much detail here, uh, but the main things I wanted to point out were how they were different 
when you're doing a GCSE and when you're doing A level. And I would say the key differences that students tell me are that it's the depth of the inquiry, so how sustained is the project. Um, with the artist research, it's a lot less about kind of copying from Wikipedia, um, but actually thinking about what you think about the images and learning with specialist language and things to deconstruct the images and use those as an inspiration for your own work, not copying the work directly, you know, using it as a springboard for your ideas. Um, again, with the reflective recording, it's much more in depth and it's much more about what you think, you know, critical analysis. And I'd say for the creative making, the personal presentation, it's stepping away from mimicking artists too directly and bringing in more about what you're interested in through some really, you know, exciting experimentation. So as I said before, we're really lucky with our study space at the college. Um, we have base rooms for each of our subjects, um, which have computers and materials and things in it. Um, but we also have access to really excellent workshops. Um, for photography, we have a dark room, which is one of my favorite places. Um, we have a studio, and we also have a Mac suite, which is really great to work in. Um, but we do also have access to a screen printing room, so we can do things like screen printing, as I mentioned before, the photo etching. Um, and again, anything else you might be interested in using. I mean, the college itself is huge. Um, I've had students working in the spa area on photo shoots, in the gym, in the restaurant. Um, really, you know, if you're up for doing something, I'll find a way for you to make it happen. We do also encourage collaborations with students. So, Sometimes we have students working with the hair and beauty students on different looks and things like that. Okay, so some pictures and some work from our studio just here. It's quite a nice big size. It has a lock on the door, so you know it's your own space to work in. It's got really good lights and as I said earlier, colour gels as well. So you get some really beautiful images. Um, the dark room, and by the way, I do realise that this isn't how the dark room should look. Um, it is light in there, but it's just to show you the space. We've got about 12 enlargers. Again, it's a nice big space. Um, we can print medium format um, and large format, as well as the usual 35mm. Um, what I generally find is after the introduction, it's about a third of you will be kind of die hard dark room people. And it's perfectly fine after that first term, I introduce you to the different areas. So after that, you kind of come in, you want to work in the dark room, absolutely fine. Really kind of encourage you to work where you enjoy as much as possible. And generally, our students go on to do an art foundation and then go on to university. We do our finding there are universities that accept students straight from A-levels for art, but the majority of the more prestigious ones do still ask for an art foundation. We have an excellent one at the college. Um, you can also do an apprenticeship or go straight into employment. Um, but basically, whatever you decide to do will support you. Um, so unique about our courses, obviously the environment, it's in a great location. We've got great facilities. Um, subject specialists teach unique subjects. We are actually practicing artists and designers, you know, we've got experience, we exhibit regularly, um, which believe it or not isn't so common in a lot of um, colleges and schools. Um, we do really believe in having it very student-led, you know, as I've said a couple of times, if you've got an idea and you want to bring it to us, absolutely fine. It'd be really easy just to churn out identical people and, you know, as you're looking at the work, I hope you see how varied it all is. Um, what we're really interested in is finding out about you and helping you develop as an individual and an artist, not about churning out everybody doing exactly the same thing for the same thing for us. Um, and that does, you know, it's an in-depth exploration of your subject which prepares you for your next steps. If that's a job, university, whatever you decide, it will give you that real in-depth inquiry that you will need. Student life, I'll let you read through this um, statement from our um, student president at some point. Generally, I would say that our students um, have an excellent time. They have a lot of fun. They work hard. Um, I think we do try to promote quite an adult environment where, you know, people are treated with respect. Additional costs. Um, generally, to get you through the first term, you will need that list just above. You know, so. Sketchbook, darkroom paper, film, negative sleeves, 
glue scissors. Um, a camera is also really handy. Um, if you know that you're into digital, get something digital or an analog, that's fine. Um, if you're not sure, maybe borrow one from someone until you're, you are sure, and then you can always ask for one for Christmas. Um, but again, it seems like an obvious one that a camera will help you with photography. Right then, so we are on to the questions part of it. Um, so if you can now put in any questions into your chat and I will have a read of them and answer them. Okay, thank you. Um, cameras, generally it depends. So I've been asked, what cameras do you recommend? I say digital cameras, I really like Nikon or Canon, but really it's any camera. I would say single lens reflexes. Um, they're the ones where you can take the lens off and also where you've got a completely manual setting. But you can get a decent camera second hand for about £100, I would say, easily. Um, and as I said, you are welcome if you've got a family member or something to borrow one in the first instance. We do have some cameras at the college um, that people can borrow, so you can get an idea of using them and see what you prefer. But ultimately, it is good to have your own. Okay, any more questions? That's another good one. So can you use the dark room when we like? Um, after your introduction, which will be in the first term, to some extent, yes. Generally, a lot of the other art courses are also doing their introductions around the same time. So in the first term, it can be tricky because you might walk in and find 15 students and then they're being enlarged through. But after the first term, once you've had your health and safety, um, you can go in. And we actually really encourage that. It's quite exciting because you might get during kind of quiet today, a degree student, a foundation student, an A-level student, and a full-time art student all working together in there, which can be a really lovely atmosphere. Um, so yeah, after the first term, as long as there's not a huge group in there, then definitely. Any other questions? Which other courses can I study alongside this one? Does it have to be two A-levels? Okay, so it actually needs to be three A-levels to do photography um, or any of the A-levels and that creates a full-time course. I would say that the other arts go really well with photography, media studies, film studies, um, but also loads of the others. So English, I had a lot of students studying English, um, literature or language. Um, also sociology, that's quite a good one. And actually some students from um, science and biology, because it's quite, you know, the chemicals and things, there is a link there too. Also with nature too. <laughs> okay, that's good, definitely do English. I actually did English for mine. I did um, English um, photography and media. Um, but you do have a six week period at the beginning where if you are on the wrong thing, you can kind of switch it around and Okay, how are we doing? Um, any more questions? We've got two more minutes. Okay, lovely. Well, it's actually showing. Okay. I did. Um, I did it at college um, a long time ago. Um, and then I did a foundation. And then I did a degree in photography as well and then I actually did an MA which is the thing you can do after your degree so I really do like it <laughs> as I said I'm still doing it kind of for exhibitions and for work now as well so yeah obviously I recommend it it's good fun <laughs> Okay, lovely. Um, well, that is the session at the moment. Um, my email address is on the screen, so if any of you do have any other questions or you're a bit shy about saying them now, please do feel to con free to contact me. I will get back to you. Um, other than that, enjoy the rest of your sessions and hopefully see you in September. Okay, thank you. Bye.